Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Garage. My name is Frank and I will be the man behind the camera. In today's video, we're taking care of the SCD V8 because we are doing a complete oil and oil filter change on it to make it all fresh and nice for the summer. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into the video. So pretty packed video today. Well packed for me because I have a lot of things to do so today is a holiday here I'm currently filming on a Friday which I usually work on so we're gonna pop the hood on the SCD V8 drive the car onto ramps and then prepare everything take the under tray out um, this is not gonna be that much of a show you how to do it because it's pretty straightforward so you want to start off by either jacking the car or driving the car onto ramps you want to go ahead and remove the oil cap on top of the engine bay and then you want to go underneath the car remove all of the under tray once that is done you want to have your drain plug ready which your wrench and whatever tools that you need to remove the drain plug. You wanna have your drain pan ready somewhere near the area with some cardboard so you don't dirty all of the flooring. And then you wanna remove your drain plug, let it drain out, take the oil filter out, put the new one back on, make sure you lubricate it with some oil and put the new, uh, the new gasket on top of it, put it back on, then put the oil plug back in. You wanna fill back up the engine. This one, I believe, takes 8.1 quarts of oil, so which should be about close to uh, somewhere of a one and a half a gallon of oil. And then you wanna go and let the car run a little bit, make sure everything's good, take the dipstick back out and make sure the level's stabilized and everything is all good. Alrighty guys, so I got the under tray out. So there is a total of seven little screws like that that hold it. I have my Milwaukee tool here to help me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the under tray comes out. I'm just gonna go underneath the car for you guys here to show you. Let's just turn up the sensitivity for the lighting. So oil filter is right here, as you guys can see, and the drain plug is around the back there. So oil filter is what you take out last. You wanna take the drain plug for the oil out first, drain all of the oil, Make sure you open the cap, the oil cap on top of the engine. Uh, as you guys can see, there is a little oil leak. So I'll have to look into this in the near future. Not sure if it's the oil filter, oil pan gasket or something worse. Hopefully it's not. Doesn't seem to have any oil on the subframe area. And the subframe is actually pretty clean considering this is a 15 years old car that lived through many winters. Subframe looks pretty clean. So uh, there is a little baggling stick right there but i don't know what that is so let's get to changing the oil so i'll go ahead and drain the oil i got my oil pan ready and let's get going all right guys so everything is back in I'm just gonna take that out <laughs> that was a meme so my girlfriend's brother is here to help me out just to hand me the tools and stuff like that so i had low profile ramps which are not that high and it didn't give that much clearance at the bottom so a little trick guys when you're uh, putting the oil filter back on make sure you put a little bit of oil on your finger and go all around the filter housing so there's a little rubber grommet that you have to change around the housing because it's pretty much a shell and then you have the filter that's inside of the shell so you want to take that out and then put a little bit of oil around just to make sure that you know there's no oil that goes through which i don't know why that makes sense but it does so uh, now all we have to do is put the oil back in so i got castrol edge 5wd40 so for the summer i run 5w40 in uh, the v8 since i guess it just runs at a higher temperature and it's just better because i do drive the car very slowly um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then you want to let the car run for a little bit and uh, make sure the levels are good and everything with the dipstick and then you're good to go this was actually pretty easy the under tray was probably the most difficult part and then just timing everything with the oil coming out to not put oil all over the driveway and actually did a good job of not putting any oil in the driveway so that's pretty good Alrighty guys, so we filled everything back up, took about 7.1 quarts of oil. So now we're gonna start it, let it run for like two, three, well, up to five minutes. And uh, we'll check the levels again, make sure once the filter fills up and everything, so. That beautiful transversely mounted V8, look at it. Just sipping on that oil. And with the wrap now. Now we need to change the wheel, guys. The wheels are just horrendous. Fitment is horrible. Shout out to the S60R in the background. So we'll let it run, guys, and uh, we'll check the levels back, and we'll see you guys very soon. Alrighty, guys, so everything is done, leveled, brought the car back down, make sure everything is right, and we add a little bit more. So it actually fitted 7.3 quarts of oil, very close to 7.4 quarts. 
So that's about it guys. Pretty easy tutorial on how to remove and change your old oil and put some new oil. So last thing to do is close the engine and uh, do what we call here as uh, an Italian tuning. So you want to go on the road and uh, drive the car pretty hard. Make sure you know everything is lubricated properly. So uh, we'll get on the road doing that. So thank you for watching the video guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. See ya boys.